Hi, this is one minute summary of The One Thing by Gary Keller. I want to start by saying that I have loved this book because it's not like most personal development books where it's just very motivational, very inspirational, but then it doesn't actually give you tips. And this book is very down to earth, so very practical. I loved it. And it basically says that we all want to do too many things and to be good at everything. But in the end, when we aim to be good at every single field in the world, what happens is that we all just have 24 hours in a day and so you become average, you become frustrated, you don't focus and then you end up achieving nothing. So how you counteract this is by finding that one thing that will help you get to your most ambitious goals and create this domino effect that will get you there. There are some myths that people have that prevent them from focusing and one of them is thinking that you can multitask. It's simply not possible. If you look at human behavior, you know that you just have like centralized attention. So you're just like shifting between tasks. The second thing is thinking that you should have a perfectly disciplined life and have like perfect habits. But it actually takes 66 days to build habits in contrary to what people think, which is 21. So you should focus on one habit at a time and actually be good at it. Then is thinking that everything is equally important and that you can rely on your willpower. The things that you can't. So he says that you should be starting your day with your one most important thing. And now the question is, how do you find the one thing? And from these, there are two important things to consider, which is your purpose and priority. And basically to find your purpose it is to list a list of activities you are passionate about, a list of outcomes you're passionate about, then choose one activity, one outcome, and then get this to answer the question. What is the one thing I can do that will make the activity and this outcome easier for me? And then in terms of priorities is to look at what's the end goal, like where you want to get, what's the end of the line, and then debunk it into smaller chunks. What can I do in the next five years that will lead me here? What can I do in the next year, the next month, the next week? What can I do today and what I can do right now? And that's how you build this domino effect and get you to your one thing.